Hello Libra and welcome to Soul Sundays. Libra, it's a quick three card spread, one for mind, body and soul for your week ahead. So let's get started. Can I have three cards please for Libra, one for mind, body and soul? What have you got coming up for you? Last week was very much on money and what you're putting out into the world. Okay, ten of stars. Interesting. Um, <laughs> you've pulled up the card of um, ten of coins, which is um, no, not sorry, ten of coins, ten of wands, which is um, uh, all about uh, normally reaching the end of a limit, right? In this card, it's described as hoarding. <laughs> is quite funny um, for those that are experiencing fall or autumn uh, it's, it's very um, symbolic of that in this card okay it, spe it speaks about um, hoarding for the winter or keeping things in together which is not necessarily the best thing that you could do um, you've drawn the card of recovery so it can speak about um, recovering as an alcoholic it can speak about recovering tr from drug addiction from lack of sleep or not giving yourself permission to sleep there's a whole ra range of things here but i feel like you're in the phase of actually oh beautiful um giving yourself your body physical energy to recover from whatever it is that you've been going through and then finally your spiritual message is specialization now before i get into the reading i just want to draw your attention to what i see i'm very visual and that's why i use many different decks but do you see the transformative energy here the colors the all of the chakra colors and the circle and the merkaba that they've kind of uh, illustrated on here the wheel of energy the sphere of energy okay um, this can be quite dark and it's talking you to transform your energy this week from very linear and one way of thinking that kind of uh, negative train thought and to be more open and flowing because that's what will um, attract more beautiful energy back to you um, ten of stars so ten of wands in traditional tarot um, often speaks about um, you know in traditional tarot shows the guy that's gotten all the way to the end and he's carrying all these sticks on his back and he can no longer carry it anymore he's like just reach the end he needs a break um, this speaks about um, the burden of responsibility okay and it's called hoarding for a reason uh, it talks about effort problem solving and resolving problems uh, and the description says surrender all that you no longer need in order to become more helping yourself benefits others more than you could ever know as a sign, I would say, uh, Libra, you tend to help so many people all the time. But sometimes it's at the detriment of yourself. I think this card's very aptly named as hoarding because it speaks about um, the fact that you're trying to draw in all these amazing stars, right? You're trying to create a different life for yourself. You're trying to build a different life. But in doing so and in trying to manifest that, you need to realize you need to get rid of a few things, okay? Often one of the key things that people miss when it comes to manifestation, they watch all the videos on the secret and um, trying to bring things into the li their lives. But what they often miss is that there's only so much space you can have, right? So in order to bring new things in, in order to create those new things, we need to create space for the, those things to grow and nourish. This week, it's really asking you to take a step back and have a look at what is in your environment, what is there that is um, holding you back, okay? The Ten of Stars talks about the responsibilities of your life that are weighing you down. We have been taught that anything in this world that is worthwhile is not easy and that it is noble to suffer, which is not true, okay? But as the burdens pile up, so does the resentment and you continue on the cycle of behavior and then it allows you to get out of balance, right? It's time to tackle the tough job of clearing out the clutter. Uh, where was I up to? Find a way of being at peace with the stuff you really don't want to work through. When you come to balance with your dreams, the action needed to move forward becomes effortless. Don't forget to ask for help. No one said you have to do this on your own. So what is it that you need to clear space for, Libra? That's your thought process. That's where it should be this week. What serves a purpose, what doesn't, what no longer aligns with who you want to be and where you are. The card of recovery comes next to that, okay? Um, if this is one of the areas that doesn't serve you anymore, then it's time to actually put a focus on it this week, okay? 
Um, the description on the card says ask for help. So if you if you have prayer, if you believe, if that's your religious thing, then pray. If you meditate, call upon the angels, whatever, whatever it is for you, all right? Journal it down. But um, there's an area of your life, whether it's substance abuse, whether it's addiction to sugar, whether you're lacking in sleep, something where you need to actually go, this is one of the areas that's holding me back and I need to clear out that space, okay? Specialization, what a beautiful card on its own. I mean, this card is absolutely gorgeous. It speaks about the cycles of life. You can kind of see that there. It's got crescent moons. It's got sun coming through. It's got the tree of life growing. Um, it's got the transformative butterflies at the top. This is a beautiful, beautiful card um, to get to kind of uh, cement what I'm saying to you that if you're able to actually clear the space then you're going to draw more into you right there is a higher purpose to everything but currently it's not clear something in your life is changing and it is unsettling soon the pieces of the puzzle will start falling into place and you'll begin to find meaning in it for now trust in the refinement process hone your ability for love and develop your capacity for compassion as taints fall away the truth becomes clearer so at the basis of this card what does that mean it says know what you want and do what works refine your abilities come back to basics okay cut the crap cut all the stuff out you know what you're good at you know what you, you can be a specialist at it's about transferring a skill set from one environment to another so you could be looking at making a job move this week it could be asking you or nudging you to make a job move or do something that's more creative um, give up the idea that you must be good at everything Okay, you don't have to be good at everything. You're a specialist in one field and that's your niche. And if you are and you do have a niche like that, it's asking you to narrow your interests down and start building on your existing strengths because that's what's going to bring you abundance. Okay, you want to keep money on your mind, you want to draw more money in, then you need to clear space in order to manifest. If there is an area of your life and your physicality that's holding you back and you know what that is, whether that be alcohol abuse, drug abuse, uh, food addiction whatever it may be for you then it's time to actually put a recovery plan into place and focus on what you're good at if there's an area that you're good at and that's your specialization hone in on that skill and make it better right that's what will breed success all right Libra that was your reading for this week I hope you found it helpful if you did please hit the like button it helps the channel more than you know and I'll be back with you next week take care